Welcome back to the WordPress basics videos. Now in that last video what we did was we used Fantastico Deluxe to go ahead and install WordPress on our site and if you did everything right when you go and visit your site you're gonna see something that looks like this. This is the standard WordPress theme that's up here for our website. Okay, You can see over on the right we've got all kinds of different things that we never put in here and we'll be able to go ahead and modify this in just a little bit. But what we want to do is we want to go ahead and log into our site which nine times or a hundred percent of the time it's going to be your website address followed by wp-login.php either your website address or if you do have it in a folder. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and enter in our login details. Remember we just created this so and then we'll log in and you'll see this is great we are logged into the back end of our WordPress site and this is great you can see right up here WordPress is telling me that there is a new version available and that I should update that now. And I'll tell you right off the bat, I am going to do that. I like to update WordPress as often as possible because sometimes, you know, there can be a security, a security breach or an added feature that you're going to want. So I'm going to go ahead and just click on update now. Great. And it's telling me that everything is pretty much done. You can see it's telling me things about this. It's going to tell me what's new. As you can see, there were different maintenance and security releases, all kinds of different things that were updated in this particular upgrade. So once we've done that, what I want you to do is over here on the left, okay, you can see a button that says settings and then general. Okay, there's a whole bunch of different settings, but this is where we're going to go ahead and just confirm everything. Um, we want to make sure that we have the site title that we want, the tagline, okay. We're going to want to add in if anything's different like on this website I'm actually gonna use a different admin email address because this particular client and maybe you this is gonna be a better better situation it's a better email address from here we can go ahead and choose we can choose what time zone that we're in okay what time zone that we're in we can choose the date format. This is how it would be displayed. And then we can also do the time format and also decide what day the week starts on us. What day our work week or our week starts. Generally, I don't do much with that. I don't do much with the time either. Um, once you're happy with this, okay, you're going to go ahead and click on Save Changes. What's really important with this? Uh, we can say, hey, no, not anyone can register, or yes, anyone can register. Um, I'm not really setting up a membership site, so it's not such a big deal for me, but if you did want to change that, you're certainly welcome to. And I go ahead and click on Save Changes. And that's going to be your general settings. This is where I like to start first. And then from here, we can go on to our writing in reading selections. Um, these are just a couple of selections. I generally, there isn't much that I'll do here. Um, I don't post via email. I don't use press this, so I don't worry too much about that. The reading from here, we can do a couple of different things. Um, we can decide how our front page is going to display, whether it's a static page or our latest post. We can decide how many blog pages show at a time, how many, if we want to use RSS feeds, how many feed, 
how many different posts are going to show at once. Um, for this each article in a feed, we can show either the full text or a summary. And then we can also change how we want the encoding for the pages and the feeds. Like I said, I really don't usually ever do anything with this. Um, in the next video, we're going to go over setting our discussion and permalinks section. So I'll see you in the next video.